I, I, you know, we'd hitch up the bale collector. We'd go around and we'd collect all the bales off the field. Uh, Mrs. Osa would drop the bales off and I'd load the extractor with the telehandler. And then once we had our big giant sausages of bales out the back, we'd uh, unwrap them, stick them back on the bale collector again and take them off to uh, sell. Um, so you can obviously sell those. The big question is, is, is if I haul an extractor to a field where I'm doing a baling contract, can I wrap the bales and immediately unwrap them and take them down to the uh, thing? Now, from what we've seen, obviously, um, silage bales take uh, one month to... Um, one month to ferment. So we're playing three games days, it's three game days to uh, to ferment these. But when you do a contract the uh, the fermentation is immediate. So if you're really desperate for silage bales do a uh, a bale and wrap contract and uh, obviously deliver all the bales that need to be delivered and then keep the extras because they are going to be silage right away rather than having to wait one month for it to be silage. That thing is rocking precariously. Oh. <laughs> What's the reckoning? That's the entirety of the Maps AI sat behind us. How sad. Well, we're nearly at the right hand turn. I think this is about the peak of the hill and where we'll start working on the flat down to the store which means we might make it up to five miles an hour, maybe six. That would be a good thing. Yeah, so because of the church thing this week, I will not be able to spend any time in the evenings um, setting up for next week's play session. So I will not be migrating to the updated map this week if it gets released. I kind of expect it to get released. Um, if it failed, Giants will have said it failed for this reason. Um, Cavalier Roy had it back on the uh, ready for testing possibly within a few hours maybe 24 hours um, and it was back on the mod tests list on Wednesday so they're testing the update of the update um, and if they reported all the problems they found and Cavalier Roy's fixed it to their um, requirements then we're not going to we should see it fairly early on this week but um, because new game save will be needed I've got to make notes of where we are today with this and then you know I need my mod list and everything else And then I have to set up the new game save with the new map, which means I then can't come back into this one. I probably can, but you know, it's it'll be a bit of a challenge. Um, make sure I've got all the mods I want added, and then I have to the move time to whatever date we end up with. I'm probably expecting, although at this rate, 
it'll still be first day of December. Uh, I'm kind of hoping we'll be somewhere in January or February by the end of today. And if that's the case, then um, yeah, the new game save, I've got to make sure we've got 51,000, possibly 100,000 pounds in the bank and um, all the equipment we have is the equipment we have now. Although, as I said, I might swap out the tractor because this one is, in my opinion, a little overused by me. It's kind of like the Valtra you know, I, you know, I get through to uh, March on Farm Sim 19 and it's sort of, I'm using the Valtra for every single farm. Okay, we're never using it again. Or I'm using the Fen... 500, 300 favorite C, whatever it is. And so we're going to try and avoid using that tractor because I'm just using it for every single farm start. Because game wise, they're a good, they're a good match. But um, hmm. hello, and uh, let's see. We'll do you, um, and we will do that. Next, scan. Next, And yes, you can be blocked. Bye bye. And I will drive into a tree because I'm not looking. Oh, come on. Oh! No, no, no. Don't do not drive into hedges with bales on the back. That is the worst thing you can do. So, yeah, Roy was explaining to us last week that it, apparently it's. Oops. Quite easy to uh, stop things from going through hedges. So the, the hedges at the edge of the field, uh, at the edge of the map, just prevent everything from driving through. Um, hedges within the map tend not to. However, um, He's got them modified so that pallets and bales do not pass through his hedges. Which kind of makes sense because of, you know, as, a, as we've already been commenting today, the, the slopes on the hill of, of, you know, the steepness of the, slope, the hill slopes um, are just such that your bales do roll away. And so just by... Uh, preventing bales from passing through hedges, we don't drive along the road and suddenly come across a uh, flock of bales sitting in the middle of the road because they've rolled from three fields away. Well, we're nearly there. We're doing four miles an hour. Woo! Anyway, and we're definitely not doing 50 kilometers an hour along here. How's our followers doing? Uh, yeah, they're still back there. If I think that's the entrance to a field. That's a nice looking field grass. Don't need that. I'm, I'm kind of looking at the fields over behind our farm 
They are huge and grass fields. <clears throat> We did a contract on one of them last week with the uh, the big M. Ugh. Stabbed in the face by a tree. But I, you know, obviously having those fields, it's going to make working cows easier for us. We don't have to use our little field, which is technically the cow pasture. But then once we get once we get some cows having a big field or two to um, to do the food is going to be a lot easier now. Where is the entrance to the BGA? Right past this wall. I'm probably going to need to take a little bit of a white tack here so that we don't wrap any bales in any hedges. Take it wide around the side there and there we go. And we're up to five miles an hour. Woo! Hold on to your seats guys. Okay, um, let's go take this over to a uh, an unload thing and see if it unloads. I hope it unloads because we've come an awful long way just to be told they're not going to accept it because we're paying for it. Uh, hmm. Come on, tractor. Okay, that was a strange thing that hasn't resulted in anything visible. Um, hmm. Okay, no events to display. Sounded like a follower or a subscriber, but um, I don't see a message that says someone followed or subscribed. Strange. Okay, we're nearly there. As soon as we can get this thing unloaded, the sooner we'll be able to drive fast again. Okay. Well, well, yeah, that one disappeared. We got just under 20,000, 2,000 on the environmentals. So, uh, hey, that's, that's more than 10%. And uh, did the game crash crash? Oh, that would be so bad. I'm not going to be happy if the game crashed. Oh no, there we go. Phew. We control is 16.9. I think that's higher than halfway. Soil sampling... See, soil sampling's not full. Tillage is not full. pH, we screwed the pH on 55. Nitrogen we haven't done yet, but that I think is set at harvest time. Anyway, we can now drive fast, so let's do the fast driving thing. Um, maybe, I don't know. Ah, oh, cameo yo or Cameo L. Um, thank you for the follow and good morning. Uh, 
So, yeah, I do believe repair status of tractors does reduce the power output, but um, yeah, we're still in the what we're fifty eight percent, and it, I haven't noticed it taking a huge toll until you hit forty. At which point things do start getting noticeable. But I think really it's 200 horsepower and 104,000 litres of silage on the back. Um, you're probably really wanting a 300 horsepower uh, tractor or bigger for that. And another insurance claim. But anyway, we can get things moving now. So we sold those off, finally. I've got two grass bales to sell, um, or to do something with. As I said, we, we could go the extractor route for uh, silage on our own farm, and maybe do a small silage contract next year. Um, and see if we can figure out the difference there. Yeah, um, I mean I was looking this week I had a doctor's appointment in the middle of Tuesday so I had some time in the afternoon that I could have uh, bought bought the series back online and then um, I had availability on the evenings at like I said probability is Giants failed it for some reason uh, Roy updated it in a very short order because uh, it was back on current testing I can't remember whether it's Tuesday because like I said I was out a fair amount of Tuesday but it was definitely back on on the forum list to say we're testing on by Wednesday. Um, again, we could be in the same situation as we were this time last week, where maybe Roy has already heard that, yes, we finished testing it, but um, they haven't told him um, if it passed or failed yet, and he'll hear on Monday. Um, now... I am here, and I want to look up grass. Yeah, grass is 50 pounds. I am basically looking at, I have no idea what to do with those two bales. Because um, ordinarily, I'm not going to feed them to cows, because you know, grass and cows just doesn't do anything useful. Um, So the only real option is to wrap them, and the only wrapper that will take 180 litre bales is the extractors. Now, of course, the other alternative is to uh, I don't know. There's a bale shredder available or a bale shredding tool that would allow me to just break them up and then rebale them. Not that I have a baler myself. We rented that one. Okay, drop the trailer like that. We will uh, drop the weight over here. I think I'll put the arms back on. Not that we need them for now. But, uh, I, mean, I don't need to go into that field. I can leave the grass there for now. We'll uh, make a decision come January what the next stage of stuff is. I'm going to pull in... Uh, Gonna leave the tires on for now. Um, 
I did consider putting the narrows back, but we don't need them on until we get round to spraying the fields, and we're not going to be doing that until March. So, uh, that's all fine. Um, but the next trip is probably going to be selling the sunflowers because they peak in um, oh no uh, they peak in March March for spraying, March for shipping so if we, you know, if we ship those out in March then we can put the narrow tyres on and go and spray our fields and get them up to ideal levels this looks surprisingly oh that's right so this should be planted as grass yes it's growing yes needs rolling don't have a roller um, pH value is bad because I forgot to put lime on it and I don't have a lime spreader nitrogen is okay so we might spray this field too just to boost the uh, um, the yield um, as far as contracts is concerned, I don't believe there are any. There are not. Well, there's a planning contract. Actually, I did remember. Um, I need the flatbed again. Gonna need pallet forks. I could probably do with a slightly smaller trailer, just as a thought. And long hauler, good morning. Now, as far as I am aware, yes, you you can put bales into a TMR mixer and shred them. The problem is, is that TMR mixers only accept um, oops, uh, hay, straw, and silage these days. And it, they haven't accepted grass since um, Farm Sim 17. Maybe the initial stages of Farm Sim 19. And, um, yeah, back in 17, you could mix grass or hay, I believe. And then it just became hay only and the shredders just don't or the tmr mixers don't accept it which is you know once once you've got grass the only thing you can really do with them is wrap them now obviously um okay uh, disconnect the forks Reconnect the forks. So, little hint there. If you forks get stuck in a pallet, you can disconnect it and reconnect it, the forks, and they will drop the pallet. I don't have. I, I have. Um, what is it? They're, they're round bales. So you can do 125, 150s and 180s. These are 180s. I accidentally set the baler to maximum capacity for bales and forgot that they only wrap 125s and 150s. I don't really have to worry about it because as I've been saying, where's wrappers? Uh, bale wrappers. Okay, this one goes to 150. 
This one does 150 and 220, so not the biggest. This one does rounds up to 180. This one does rounds up to 180 and squares up to 240. Uh, 220, yeah, 240s. So these things work, and to be honest, I mean, this is cheaper than that for a start. Don't plan to be going square bales, um, at least not now. But, um, you know, limiting ourselves to round bales, we should be okay using uh, oh come on back up do your thing um, yeah so using you know using the extractors to wrap bales I've done it in the past and you know it's it's kind of an easy thing to do okay how many pallets do you have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're going to have 10 pallets of uh, potatoes here. At uh, what? 50 pounds per 100 litres or something. 1,000 litres. So part of the reason... I am screwing this up something. And I just turned the engine off. Congratulations. Um, yeah, this gives me an easy way into pigs. I don't have to uh, grow a field of sugar beets or potatoes in order to feed the pigs. Well, that was spectacular. Um, So yeah, I mean, I, th I think for me the issue with a um, with using an extractor is um, having an easy way to load it. So um, in the past when I've used one, I've tend to had to have a telehandler on site, and I don't have one at the moment. The other option there is, of course, is the little JCB tele truck, which uses skid to skid steer attachments. I think it's classed as a um, a forklift, but it does telescopic header things. It's not. As, I don't think it's as fast as a tele as a tele handler. And also doesn't have the four-wheel steering. But if all you're using it is for stuff like this, it's no big deal. Okay. Well, this is... I think the problem I have here is the, uh, the ground is not exactly level. kind of difficult to position. But yeah, eventually when we've got a supply of corn and we need we need more arable fields, but we can get some corn and um, cereals and proteins produced. And then I can 